Well, hello, thank you so much for being here. This is GE. We are jumping into the Wandering Village. If you're not aware of this game, well, you should probably look at it a little closer. This is actually one of the best little city building games I've seen in a long time. I do love the aspect of this one. I'll explain to you why it's so original. We're going to roll back really quick, all right? We're on top of this ombu. That's right, where we have resources and stuff we can collect on the ombu. We can also jump off of the ombu. As we're going off it, we're able to create that these guys are going to scavenge out that's much further in. They can go out to different areas like mines and stuff. And of course, forests, if I'm not mistaken. And right here, these are feeding spots for the Ambu where you'll stop and pretty much eat when he's hungry. He has a whole bunch of different his own stats. We could feed him too. There's a lot of things we can do, including directing him on crossroads and such. And yeah, you see there's a couple of feeding spots ahead. This area here, uh, I don't know too much about it. It says it's cold, curly, and humidity is normal. Okay, so that means we'll be able to collect, if I'm not mistaken, there's like these water collectors, which I collected off humidity and stuff, where we can get a lot more stuff. Curly here, we have the Abu is currently lying down on the ground, and toxic is none. Really, this is not a toxic area? All right, I'm happy to hear that. So it's a non-toxic area. So we're going to continue here and start getting our villagers ready. This is absolutely stunning. I love the art style of this, and it looks really good. Bravo to the actual dev team. Congratulations on this launch coming up. And again, if you guys are liking this, please take time to hit like button. If you're brand new, please go subscribe. There's a lot to do in this game right now. There's tech trees. There's building menus here of stuff we have currently we can build. Of course, deconstruct. And right here, this is the tech tree currently as is. This is prior to launch, so there might be things that change as we progress and stuff. But right now, it's jumping out early access September 14th. Right here, you see there's a whole bunch of different things we could do. Deep quarries, quarry systems, sawmills. Uh, but there's a bite. What's it? Bile extractor. Bile from Onbu's gallbladder. Ooh, okay. <laughs> there's also this one here. This is the horn blower, which I was mentioning to you, which can command the Onbu for going left and right and stuff. They're really cool. There's kitchen and stuff. When, uh, anyways, we'll be working on those as we progress. Let's do the most important thing getting them some place to sell down. Now, they're anywhere in the middle here is good. The horn blower, uh, horn blower will need to be near the front right here. And there's also, what not mistaken, now put into the game where we can grab the feces from, <laughs> yeah, no, from manure. All right, we'll be able to also grab more villagers as we go through here. There's some nomads out there who will jump on to our wandering village, which is really a lot of fun. Let's get this done. Uh, we're going to build ourselves a couple of houses. And uh, we have 16 total people. Yeah, 16. So we're going to want to get a couple of them here. Uh, there's different kinds of trees and stuff. I'm not sure if there's a way for me to do multiple uh, by holding down a key or stuff. I'm going to try a couple and see if that works. Oh, shift key. There we go. Four and five. We're going to leave a space. And these are baby trees right here. One, two, three, four. All right, we're going to keep that open. We are going to put a tree in there after, sorry, a house in there afterwards. We're going to let the tree grow so we can earn it. Oh, I guess we, don't, we have no choice. It's got to go. Interesting. All right, we'll build up an extra house anyways. We can destroy some of these if we want to. Uh, these cost quite a bit as we go through it. So each one of these carries two of them. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, and that's all we need pretty much is that. Uh, we'll just build the next one because once we get some villagers and stuff, we'll have it done. Makes my life a whole lot easier. Same time, we're going to need some people to go and get some trees and stuff. Currently, we have 30 trees, a wood right here, and uh, stone. And over here, we have 100 berries, and we have some water supply currently, which is great. Uh, you can select different things. So if you want to select everything that's here, uh, best thing to do is just kind of like place and click on one at a time. If not, you can kind of do this. You want to avoid the smaller trees like i mentioned to you they will grow right here you see growth is at zero gotta let them kind of grow up into big boy trees and big girl trees so it's very very nice all right so let this kind of make its way through we're gonna also want to harvest up some berries and stuff and right over here we have it paused by the way if you're asking why it's not going it's because I, I gotta make sure i can roll with this without any problems and we're gonna want some stone too is there anything local we want some stone here yeah there's a couple of stone here 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 and here and if you guys are wondering what this is well this is the actual spikes that the ombu grows by destroying these will actually reduce the ombu's thrust i guess moving forward and stuff it'll hurt them we don't want to use that we want to try and avoid it. there's quarries on our way around as we progress so let's get this going let's let these guys build themselves their first house and stuff that is going to be it's super important and we can build, of course, a road across here. This will make them a lot faster as they go and progress and get some stuff done. All right, so this is what we really want to get done here. There's another baby tree there. It's sad. It's probably going to have to go where we're building. 
We're just going to accept it. And we'll continue going through here. We will be able to get more of them as we progress, so it's not a big problem. It really isn't. Okay. Now, that's good. We want to get ourselves uh, a, well, research building all the stuff we do want to get. We want to get the resources as fast as possible. We want some material storage areas if we can. And probably going to put a couple of those here. I should have put a shift on that one. There we go. Put this here. That's perfect. We have one, two, three, four. You know what? I'm thinking we should invest maybe another one. We're really low on trees. Let them roll and get the trees and stuff. We'll just make ourselves a space right there. We can do, if you want to make sure you can build this, and there's a something like, say, you want to build it later on, just put it down for now. Build that road around it, which is what I'm going to do. Like that. Perfect. And that way we have ourselves the road and everything that we need to get going. Then it'll just destroy the actual building that was just going to build there. When we have actual resources, we'll get rid of it. There we go. And once we have the resources, we'll be able to build it again. Perfect. I will need to get ourselves water collectors going. These are air wells. Very important for us to survive. So one air well there. We're going to get a second one right here. And I think we're going to build ourselves water easier water tanks, which are going to take care of most of the stuff. There's no tree right there, no little bush. Unfortunately, some of these will not make it. It's all good. So we'll build a couple of those. I kind of like to have three if I could, but we'll just do start off with two. That's a good start. We need to get, make sure that water stays nice and high. Again, we do want to build and start cut down as many of these trees as we possibly can. Especially around this area here. Let's just get rid of this. All right, I think that's pretty good. There we go. I think we got all those. These are still growing, those trees here. Uh, they can still pick up all these wonderful trees. Like I said, you can do a shift and hold down or be very anal like me and make sure you have them all, the ones you want, and we're good to go. These are all some nice berries here, too. We can collect here, too. Nice. We'll do some harvesting from those. We'll need to also make ourselves a research building very shortly so we can learn a little more about how we get stuff done. Uh, I think I need more rock, though. I think we're gonna need more rock. Is there a storm or something going on? You hear that? That scared me out a little bit. All right, let's just do this. Okay, so they're gonna start getting all that done as much as they possibly can. Nightfall is still there. Is he still sleeping? Yambu is still sleeping. You see no horn blower built yet. We can tell him to go. We can tell him to run if not mistaken. And uh, yeah, hopefully he'll get his button gear. Right now it's not so bad. The weather is pretty good, and this is a pretty big boy here, so he needs a good rest. You'll see right here how he's doing here. Pretty good. It's getting close to him to be able to get back up and running here. All right, this tree is up for grabs, too. We need that, and we're just going to push this out here. That for now. Keeping it all nice. I want to try and keep this as nice as possible. Now, there is farms and stuff we can build, which I think we're going to end up starting so we can make sure we have that food going. I'm going to want to place that in a central area like here. I'm going to put that right there. All right. From this, when this is done, we'll be able to direct the guys to actually do stuff. Now, there is mistakes I made on the first one when we want to build it. I, I think I forgot to, to... I pressed some plant. It didn't seem to work. I'm not sure if they fixed that or maybe I just didn't understand how it worked, but we'll figure it out together. And again, we want to set this as a high priority too. The water tank is also a high priority. We'll keep them going with that too. These are the two highest ones I want done as soon as possible. So if they have the resources, please go ahead and do it. I like that. All right, so there's also these trees here too. If they can knock those down, it'd be fantastico. I put this as a priority. Yeah, I want that tree gun. It's annoying. Uh, we can fast forward, like I said, throughout this whole thing. We still need to get more wood. Are these just grabbing all the rock? Yeah, they are. Okay. This is where the worker hut, I think, will be a little easier for us to kind of manage some stuff. Uh, they're actually chopping down these trees right here. That's great. Let this roll a tiny bit and actually fast forward it if we can. There we go. And they're going to gather and place some stuff down inside of these things here too once it's finished here. The houses are still not built, by the way. So we really need to get those wood going as soon as possible. Not sure is he bringing those buckets into the water. Okay. Nice. Look at this. Okay, I just realized something. Look at this. This one here, I should have probably put this berry bush collector else than how him do it. What this guy does is goes around, gets a berry bush without actually damaging them. 
See, that's something that's really cool. I think I'm going to put that down right here. Yeah, it's going to be near the berry bush. We want to avoid them from grabbing any more berry bushes than they can. Uh, just because I didn't realize it damages each and every one. I was like, why are they all disappearing? That's because those guys don't know what the hell they're doing. So we're going to have those guys who specialize in it. Is there any more berry bushes selected here? I don't think so. I think we're in pretty good shape. We should be okay to go. Yeah, we're okay. All right, so we'll let them continue their trek. And we have the trees can cut down here, dudes. I'm not sure why you guys are staying there, but there is a lot of work to be done here. Let's get that going if we can. This one, too, needs to go. These ones are all pretty good, actually. In good shape, too. See, they're all older trees, which is exactly what we need. These trees here are adolescent mother trees. So growing mother trees, harvesting it doesn't yield any anything yet. Once it grows fully, I believe this tree here will make seeds and grow other trees around it. So that's something we have to kind of look at. They are maturing pretty fast there on the side. I like that a lot. Now we have a farm here. Let's just pause this up. We want to get the plots going on a farm ASAP. And I think we're just going to do a small portion right now. I always, you know, be small, right? Doesn't really look small. For now, we're going to keep this whole area here. Just want to kind of cordon off the area so I know exactly where we're going to, we can actually work with. We might want to just uh, keep this all open here. And this portion here. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do that right now. That's perfect. Okay. So, in theory, if I click on here, toggle plantation, they will actually stop planting them. If I did last time, it didn't work out that way. you got to let this, let them do it. Don't click on anything. They'll do that. They'll get harvest as they progress. They're doing great. Just let them work their stuff, their magic. You can ask for more people if you want to. Right now, we're, I think we're perfectly fine the way it is. Okay, so the Anbu is waking up the poor people on that. Man, I don't know how they're not shifting around like that, but there he is getting up. And getting ready to walk much further out, finally. It took a long rest. We start off with them sleeping. And again, every time you play this game, it's always different. You won't have the same map as I do. But it works out really good. Very happy about it. Let them just get pure wood right now. We've got enough stone. I think we have enough berries and stuff. Let's just worry about that. And then we have these guys planting down here, which is great. And I think we're just going to put down a road all the way down here. They still haven't built the freaking houses. Right now, they kind of stuck with it. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there's missing still one more for someone sleeping of their group. Just saying. This might be actually too much for these farmers, but you know, if they can get it rolling, it'd be great. Maybe we can get a couple more people in here. Working with the farmers. They'll actually make the sure, like, see, it's telling them that they're actually moving towards the employment. They'll walk in, change their clothes, and bam, they're suddenly they're going to be. Watch this. Boom! Farmers. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. All right, we're going to cut down these trees, too. They have to get out of the way. This whole area here. That sounds like a plan. We still have some rocks on top there, too. This is good. Can I cut this down? Need a sawmill for that. Gotcha. Which is what I'm going to have to start looking at, too. The other things is a research building. Makes up so much space. There's nothing like smaller than this, eh? We're gonna put the research building probably right to here. I'm gonna put the research building there. Yeah, it's gonna work out good. I know there's like a, two different places. We have a mucologist, which is <laughs> mucus. I think it's actually meant for uh, mushrooms and stuff. We have a stone cutter. And we have the carpenter, which we're gonna need too. Well, okay, it looks like we hit a cold snap. That's early, too. We're about to hit this. It's going to affect our crops. And if you look right here, it does tell you cold weather. And pretty much, I think this is how long it's going to last, but it could affect and you know, with temperatures increase might affect growth of your crops, which kind of sucks, especially that we put down so much of them. Hopefully, we won't lose them, right? There is weather systems in here. We can destroy your town, by the way. So you want to try and avoid it. We need to get the horn blower as soon as possible. This is where this is important. All the houses are done. I don't know why they haven't built that yet, but that's okay. I'm going to need a carpenter very shortly. Because I know the horn blower, if I'm not mistaken, takes that. Maybe we'll put the carpenter right here. Oh, there we go. Horn blower kitchen makes berries. Again, we'll get better food of this. Ambu blood also, you can cook that up, which we're not going to do just yet. But the horn blower will help me 
be able to direct the actual ombu. I, I gotta say food first. Let's commit to that. You can build more than one research table, by the way, for the uh, station here. Uh, they will go and actually do it, which is great. They'll have uh, multiple people working on it. You could do double the amount of texture. You will lose those people, of course, from working. And I guess the stone cutter, too, we can worry about it. The carpenters can get a bit of pain. We have 37 wood right now. We're still cutting down more trees. We do have all those trees over there. All right, so it seems like we're still struggling for water. We can't seem to keep those things alive and kicking. It could be because the amount of plots I have to that are affecting it. I could remove those at any time I want to. What I could do is just this right now. See how far we can bring this out? Right over there, right? So let's just bring that here. That here. And how much further out does this go? All the way down here, too. Holy crap. So we have like one, two more to go down from. Two, three, and then circle like this. This way we'll have this area. Now, how much does this cost? Nothing. It's just a dirt road. Fantastic. Perfect. All right. So at least we got this up and running here. This is great. We're not going to be able to do all the farms. They are actually starting to work on that. They've got uh, the actual food going in, which I think I have a storage area for that, don't I? Berry catchers. We have a storage pantry, yes. All right, we should probably put the pantry nearby. Farm's going to be there. The kitchen will probably be on this side, too. It's not too far away from everybody. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. That. Now we have these little spikes. I don't want to lose that. We're going to go around it if we have to. We have no choice. If this is okay here. I think we still get what we need from there. There'll be a pantry there. We'll put the kitchen right here. Yeah, that's going to work out nice. All right, let's fast forward and continue. We're still waiting on this to be finished. It's taking some time for that. We got all this being built. Built to collect more water as we're going through with humidity. All right, so it looks like the Ambu decided to take a break for tonight. So we're uh, just going to be going around here, just double check and see the other places we can kind of chop down some trees and stuff. We're still waiting for those to happen. I'm low on rocks. I started to look at different things we're going to need to build on and get ready. I made another road around here just to keep everything nice and clean as much as possible. Uh, these trees are ready to go, by the way, so they can be harvested, thankfully enough. And there we go. They're on our list now for goodbye. See ya later. They're going to go and get all those rocks which I told him to go and pick up because those things are super important. Uh, he decided to rest. He just took down and said, that's it. I'm done. I don't think he's that tired, so it's a very small sleep for him for right now. Anyways, we're going to continue rolling through this, uh, and again, we have the research that's almost done. If you just fast forward this, we can get this completed right now. Come on. Need that kitchen so we get better food, keep people happy. But we can also click on the stats here if you want to. You can see how people are doing. Uh, tool product, uh, total productivity right here. And we, have, of course, unemployed carriers, builders, everything else. We can fix it up afterwards as we get the workers huts and stuff going. Village doctor or scavenger hunt. I'm going to open a tech tree. I'm, I kind of want to head out towards this here, the horn blower. Are you sure you want to cancel research or the horn blower? No. Okay, so we are doing that right now, right? I wasn't sure. So we're going to do the horn blower research. We really need to start directing our buddy over there. We do have the kitchen up and running, though, don't we? Where is that? There we go. The kitchen's going to go down here with our pantry. Maybe a road between. Cool. And we're going to want that into somewhat of our thing. We need a stone slab for that. Damn it. I didn't realize that. Okay, I should have looked at that too. You could see it beforehand. All right, so let's not uh, let's not get too crazy about this. We got the stone cutters right here. We'll put that right there. Okay, as long as they're accessible to the actual road, that's all that matters. Yeah, it just makes it faster. The guys just show up, boom. They don't even use roads all the time. Sometimes they cut through. We'll see them. You know, if this, you know, if they're trying to show me, maybe they want to shoot, get a road probably here or something. Uh, we do need to get ourselves a couple more of these tanks afterwards, but right now we can barely fill them up. Barely fill them up. I don't know if it's because the amount of plots I've asked for, so I think what I'm going to do is... I'm going to ask him to slow, remove some plots here. 
Not go too crazy. This way they're not using up all my water. I think that's enough food for now. Yeah, I think that's going to make a little more sense. I believe that last one there if they want to. Probably cut down by two people. I think the other two should go and do some extra work. We do need more wood. We need more stuff. And we're definitely going to need some extra stuff to get, of course, the kitchen up and running. Which is planks. Is, yeah. Planks and rocks. And oh my. I can't believe we actually have the guys go at the rocks. And they doesn't seem to be going too fast. Maybe I should get myself a worker outpost. It's only going to cost five and five. I fit that right here. That would be stunning. Yeah, that's cool, right? Right there. All right. Okay, so they can get that going. So use it to manage workers, make them specialize in transportation so we can get to transporters. We can harvest. We can get some builders. We just switch it over really easily. And that would make, I think, a life a lot easier. It's uh, getting some guys to get concentrated on certain things, especially gathering the stuff left over all over the place here. can drive you a little bit nuts. And of course, I need to think we need more storage. Should have put the storage here. That was my bad. Okay, we'll deal with it afterwards. Maybe we'll expand a little bit more. We'll change the research place. It's not the end of the world. We have mistakes anyways as we go through this. Okay, time to fast forward a bit more. It looks like our Abu's back on a move. We have some villagers. Or someone, look at that, do you see it? Right here. Nomads. Oh, this is cool. So from here, we should be able to pick up those nomads. All right, so we counter a small group of nomads. You let them join our village. Yeah, I want to. There it is. Pick them up. We need more people. Now, are they? Yes, they are healthy people. Join three more. We'll take them right away. Is there more people in this track? Oh, I wish I had the horn blower. I could tell them to, well... I want to go straight. That's where I want to go right now. All right, to take a little more control of what's going on here, I've actually taken four people in here. There's only two. I put them as harvesters. I want them to go and pick up the trees and stuff. We really hang a hard time keeping up to this. Uh, this is the one thing. So he stopped and had a little snack. A little ambu place. Oh, crap. He decided to go straight. I guess both places have been bad. Cold snap ahead of them. It doesn't look like there's this cold snap here. Actually, maybe he picked the right place. You might have just picked the right place. Oh, man, I wish we had a party. We can sit out and go and pick up some wood. It'd be freaking amazing. Oh, right, so he's finished eating. Right over here, we could choose the next research. Scavenger hunt. Sends out scavengers. This is what I was talking to you about two seconds ago. We need a village doctor, too, in case someone gets sick. Yeah, that's the one thing. Oh, by the way, the Ombu can also get sick and die. So, yeah. <laughs> get yourself ready for that. Okay, so something just popped up here. What is this? Fresh air. Fresh air free from any toxins. Very nice. Is this where you're going to rest? It's always near these little things, right? Little jellies? I have no idea. Oh, big yawn! Alright, he's gonna take a rest. Thankfully enough, he doesn't want to scratch his back. We're in good shape. So that's where he's gonna rest. And also, I think that's where he feeds himself, too. So it's really nice. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're gonna let him do his job over here. Same time, we're getting busy. It doesn't look like much is happening, but there's definitely is working really nicely. You see some of these guys who are actually going out and about chopping down trees. You click on, let's say, I think it's one of these. Well, I'll tell you that he's actually working. There you go. There's one guy here. See, workers post. So he's actually doing the stuff for harvesting like we want to. But that is working really nicely. We're keeping this mother tree again. I'm hoping that this will actually grow offsprings around it and we can utilize it. So we're not going to try and avoid building around here till that finishes. What's he doing? He's collecting the little berries and stuff. Okay. We do have a lot of food. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a pretty insane amount of food we have already. And just show you all the stuff we have it here. Currently, we can only keep 50 berries. We might need a second pantry. But it costs 10 rocks right now. I really don't think I want to waste that. But I just might. Because <laughs> we're going to need to store this stuff. I think the food actually stays good a little longer. Also, we left out. Better chance of not losing any. And if we're going to fill these things up with our wonderful farms and stuff, why not at this point? So keep it going. Let this all go. This is right now priority number one, the kitchen. So we can make better foods. Uh, makes berries and beets and like i said the blood but i think it's better foods makes them happier that works out great all right we'll let them do their stuff these guys are finished researching oh this is a water cacti oh, i really want the scavenger hunt hunt uh, hunt yeah hunt. all right the village doctor we need one of those what else did i have last time horn blower jeez i forgot about putting it up here 
We need to be up front where he can hear it. And right about where's that road here? We'll be going through here. I'll put a horn blower here. Okay. This is definitely priority. So I can set a guy over here, we can direct him from different areas. Uh, we still have a long ways to go, so there's a good possibility we can get that built in time and have everything going. I'm not sure what that sound is. It, looks, it sounds like we just won the lottery or something. It's slot machines. Village Doctor also needs 10 more slabs and stuff. Uh, heals and, of course, poison villagers with herbs. Very nice to have around here. These are almost identical buildings, aren't they? Pretty close. All right, we're going to put him over here. And I think we need like an ombu thing here too, if I'm not mistaken, where we can actually uh, get ourselves some mushrooms. We might use this area here for a farm as we feed it. Right now we're not even close to that. We got so much left to do. Everything else seems to be in good shape. Air wells. I'm not sure what's this showing up here. This is zero. Why? Are they broken? Storage full. So they can't produce more until they get storage? Ew. All right, let's get a couple more water tanks then. Keep a road in between, maybe. Can I put two of these? See, that would be pretty sweet if I could. I'll move one in there. And another one across the street, maybe. Yeah, that's good. All right, let's get these mushrooms too. All right, buddies. Get going, get building. I need this done ASAP. Oh, look at you guys. Oh, we will do it right away. Oh, this is wonderful. We're at two times by your speed. All right. So one worker is going to go in there. We need more people, by the way. We are really delegating quite a few. I don't think I have anybody who's unemployed really here, is there? Five of them. All right. Well, one of them is not going to be worried. He's going to be jumping up here and taking care of His job will be to tell the Ombu what to do when needed. Is he there yet? He has show interactions. All right, so we can make the command is to make the Ombu run, walk, lie down. We can tell him to slow down. Animal doctor. And we can do some feeding too once we get the feeding. Okay, the doctor there too. I think that was mistaken. Once we get to a path right here, we can make a selection now. We do want to go for these guys, right? I'm thinking that's north, but why is that south? I'm so confused which one it is. I don't see one on here. If you guys see it, just get a confidence put a timestamp. I'm going to say north because that's where it's going right here. Abu doesn't trust you, your command. Oh. A little shite. Okay. What? Well, I guess once we feed him, he's going to be a lot happier. Well, that's a first start. That didn't work out exactly what I wanted to. Uh, we did get some more tanks and stuff, though, so I'm happy. Maybe we should take a couple of his spikes off and teach him a lesson. <laughs> We'll see how it goes. All right, this is growing at all? Other trees? Not yet. Not finished yet. Still the mother tree. Very, very important. We're still got some decent amount of wood. We're going to make sure the workers are still working on those. Clear these out. That's excellent. And how's it going for over here? Whoa. And here now. We have the kitchen going and making better food currently. We should make everybody happier. And I think more filling, we use less foods. The doctor here is still missing some stone slabs. We have 34 of those. They're still working on those. We have one guy inside there. This guy's still making his planks and stuff. Our workers are over there. And we have a research that's almost complete there. All right, nothing's full. That's pretty good. Pretty darn good. So where is he going to pick now? Oh, let's find out. I want to go here anyways. What is that? Shrine. A place that holds ancient artifacts containing uh, forgotten knowledge. Oh, we can get more stuff from here. Oh, there's no one there. Go there. Still doesn't trust our commands. <laughs> is he going to go south no matter what, right? I think he's going for food. That's the reason why. He might be just doing that. No, he's doing it anyways. I don't know. Maybe it was. That's a contrary. I have no idea. Uh, but since he doesn't really trust us at the current time, we're going to let it be. All right. He's all good. 
get your horn blowing butt out here. So let's see here. Ambu Kitchen makes mushrooms for Ambu food. But this would be nice to have too. No, I'm going to do this. Okay, so we have the scavenger hunt right here. I want to have that on the side here somewhere close by with a road. You see, it's only on sides it can go. I'm not sure if I need one on each side of the, the actual guy. Might need it. Where was that place that we saw? Is right... Uh, it's never going to find it, but there is one on the right side. So let's make that happen. I'm not sure if it makes a difference or not. Really don't, but we're going to make this a thing. Okay, this is high priority. We're going to want that. Make a quick little road down here. Cool. All right. Did this rock we here all the time? I don't remember seeing that. I think I picked it up. I think some of it come in. All right, let's check this out here. Uh, you encounter a small group of villagers. Yes, I want to pick them up. We need more people to work. And two more people, and they are both uh, have healthy people join us. Beautiful. Well, that can win a healthy. Very helpful. Boy, we're running out of trees soon. Well, actually, we have quite a bit on that side. As long as we leave these mother trees alive and kicking, uh, we should be in good shape. We have collected 87 of them, though. I can see the issue. This guy's still crafting this up. This one is stone slabs. There seems to be a big issue, but it's all good. Uh, is there more rocks here? There is. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Let's just go and harvest this up here. That's important for us to get. We're going to need all these rocks anyways. And after that, we're going to have to be uh, prepared to utilize what we have. This is mushrooms, right? Growth is so small. Uh, but yeah, we're going to need to uh, get ourselves a uh, research to go towards a stone and a quarry, guys, to get this stuff. Right now, where's it leading us to? A feeding ground. Oh, no. What's this? Poison forest. So he is going to lead us towards a poison area. God darn it. All right, needs priority, guys. Let's go, go, go. All right, so the Ambu did stop and now, uh, well, fill up his belly here. So that's good news, I guess, before we get that poison crap. But there's a quarry right here, and I want this thing built. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. They're just not fast enough for building this thing because we didn't have enough people in here. So it's pretty much my fault. I've actually added an extra person for their wood cutting and carpentry. Uh, we have guys all doing the harvesting up here as much as we possibly can. And they're all doing the harvesting around the area. So they are gathering the rocks, the wood, and everything else we need to get going. I'm not hating it all. We got, got, got. I just wish we could control this guy. We could actually maybe make him lie down if he trusted us. But wait, we're going to have some serious issues in a few seconds. That village doctor is looking more and more important right now. All right, so two different choices just popped up here. This is the trebuchet. We have to shoot the food into the Ambu's mouth. Not mistaken, right? Can launch food to yet to eat. And, uh, okay. Increases its hunger. Let's commit to that. We want to keep the uh, big guy happy. Much as possible. I think I'm not sure I can make that happen until this is ready here. You know, if it gets ready, I'm not sure if it's even close enough to it. Is that should be done? Construction. Go, buddy. Make the little hammer and run. Absolutely love the look of this. Look at that. They all have like these cute little animations, and I love the look of this. The colors are beautiful. Beautiful colors. All right, let's go and do this here. No party available. No party available. Is that because I make a party, maybe? Pause it up for a second. All right, there's one guy there. We're waiting for one more person to show up. There they go. They both shoot up. Open map. Send party. Zero days. Five hours to send party. Now we need rocks and wood. So let's try and get the rocks first. Forming expedition party. We gotta see them do that, or? So I think what they do is they jump off the side of that darn thing. Look at the fish on top and everything. Scavenging is zero. Do we see them anywhere at all? Like, do it? Oh, yeah, look at that. The bar is gonna just move it up. They'll grab some rocks, come back here. Uh, we can grab again. Next one we wanna do is this one here. And we'll gather up more resources. Also, grabbing off of us right now. I think like trees like this is pretty much fully grown. Uh, we can get rid of some of these. Let's get rid of this. So let the mother tree grow her babies. Her babies. 
And the more wood, the merrier, right? There we go, that's done. How much did he come back with? Did it tell us? I didn't even see it. It went too fast. Okay, well, hold on a second. Let's open him up the map. Don't go for a rest or anything, dude. We need you to come here. Send the party for that. All right, so I built this doctor, but you know I completely foobarred with? I just realized that we need herbalist, don't we? I remember seeing him, too. So we're going to put the herbalist right across the street from this dude. Right there. And we're going to put that as serious priority right now. And it's... We actually... I think we have the resources to get this done fast. Uh, but this is going to be the herbalist who's going to help us out for giving them... Because you see they need 15 of this to cure the elements. This is going to be a big problem right now. It looks like he's tired. Which is good news. Hopefully... Not because that. Here we can set a party. We can run out to that forest and go and grab ourselves some more wood. It is helping out quite a bit more than you believe. I'm not sure if we can get someone to go that far. These things we can't go. We can. Full infested plants. We have no idea what we may find here. We might kill the people going there too. All right. So we've got an herbalist now who's working. We only can afford, I think, one more person here that's actually doing something else. Uh, we have 21 here. Unemployed zero. Yeah, that's the big problem right now. We're running out of room. I actually put a scavenger hunt to go back out and do some more. I'm starting to think I should probably avoid that right now because we just need more people to work right now. I, I have like a whole bunch of here. There we go. And we'll bring this down to zero for now. I think I'm actually going to turn this off. I'm just going to leave it as is because we just don't have enough people. We're going to have to find more people. We have enough housing and stuff. We've been working pretty good on that. And just people not doing anything. It's all good. I mean, they're busy. That's good news. All right, let's just roll out of here and see how they're doing. They're almost done over here. Right now, we're at the quarry. We have 37. We're not gathering any other rocks on the Yambu currently. Uh, so we'll see if we can find ourselves some decent rocks from this area here. It took a day for them to travel there. I think this is probably a lot further. This is nothing here. I am very curious about this, though. Oh, there's a settlement right there. Okay, so now we have still another one we can do here. Ombu Doctor allows us to send out workers to cure the Ombu, I guess with a little balloon and stuff. Or we can select this. We can also just go back to the tech tree and see what else we can do here. Uh, the Ombu Doctor and other things here. What's, what else we can do? I think I'm going to need... Let's just... Decant oh, this is one thing I needed last time. Toxic plants using... Yes, these guys go around and help us out. Stores various materials. Now, we don't have to worry about that right now. Provides food for villagers in remote areas. Okay, they're not right now either. I think I'm going to invest in this, dudes. And this is something that needs it. If once we get to the poisonous areas, that is a pain. By the way, I sent out a group over here. They are scavenging. If we can keep the Ambu sleeping, which I think we might have a chance to do it, we can head out to the mine. I don't think I'm prepared for this yet. All right. Uh, we have uh, the herbal guys here. I've had to do exactly like the farm. We planted a whole bunch of the little crops. I don't know if I need that much with one guy working there. I've cut down the amount of workers in the berry gatherers right now because we're doing pretty decent for the actual stuff. We could probably tell them to go and do a little bit of work, though. I just realized that there's a whole bunch of these berry bushes that are just asking for it. We're actually right outside their place, too. Not too far away. And we have uh, still some wood and stuff here. Okay. I probably could ask them to chop down a few more. They do have that to do. And so currently, right now, we have an employed... Too unemployed, they're not working, doing anything. I'm sure we could find a place for them to do some work here. Maybe they'll come and help out the herbalist. All right, the Ambu is walking. And uh, what's scary is our guys, I think, are still out there, aren't they? So I i don't know if we lose people, <laughs> if they get left behind or not. I'm hoping they'll rush a tiny bit there and get things going. Uh, by the way, we had to cancel out this one here. They're asking me for dung and other things uh, for food. I don't have that right now, currently. So unfortunately, we had to leave it be. I think the next one we're going to do, we're going to probably move the guys out here to go and do some quarry work. Uh, maybe we can make this one happen too. Again, they've been traveling nonstop doing the work, uh, but I'm curious we'll see the mine right now. I, um, I need another scavenger. That's what I really need. I think I'm going to do it too. Let's get another scavenger hunt. Let's make that a priority of people here to go and do some work. It'd be really good. And yeah, I think we're in good shape with the rest of this. Uh, people should be able to come here. I wonder if, why the doctors don't come and do some work here while there's nothing going on. They gotta wait for these herbs to come out. They're fully grown. Oh, okay. We got any herbs at all? He's bringing some in there. 
Oh, cool. Well, there we go. The doctor is now open for business. Missing resources. It's already been used. Remedies, I guess. Is there anybody that's sick? No, I don't see that right now. No, it's all good. All right, let's go and check this out. Open map. I didn't see what they got us. Damn it. Is there any resources we got? We got iron ore, five of them. That's pretty darn nice. We got five in the water. It's pretty cool, too. Let's go and send parties there 14 hours. Grab that stuff. We need as much rock as possible. And then we're going to get some wood right afterwards. If we can send the quarry, well, two scavengers out, that'd be great. I would love to find out what the poisonous forest is. But I'm not willing to risk people's lives right now, especially early on. I need everybody on deck here. But that's really nice. Once the game is solid, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I hope you guys are enjoying it too. If you want to see more of this, I'd love to continue it. I had hit the like button, get in Caulfields. I think it deserves a, quite a few more so we can see the trebuchet and get this guy fed and start moving around. See what else we can do on our journey out here. There is an oasis. It looks like this is bad news. I would love him to go south, right? Ambu does not trust your command. We really need to feed him. Please turn right. So my guys are out here too. Please don't go. Turn right. No, he went straight ahead. Oh, this is really bad news. I guess we're going to set people up for water and stuff. Oh, well, we'll see how it goes. Thank you all for being here. You guys are the best. This is Game Edge. I'll catch you guys on the flip side.